Hi, everyone. Welcome back. I hope you all are doing well. I am doing okay. The first week of summer is here, and <laughs> we are already into arguments about normal routine things that we do or did uh, at the beginning of the year for school, you know, for school or every day, uh, like brushing your teeth <laughs> and washing your face. So anyway, I thought that we could do something a little bit less uh, mind-boggling and make some tags. So what I have done, I've pulled out some few things. I was going through because, you know, summertime causes you to want to clean up and get rid of and attempt to quote-unquote declutter. So that that's my goal for the next couple of weeks. It's just thinning out, thinning down a lot of my craft supplies. The things that I never use or bought. And I was like, oh, I'm going to use this all the time, blah, blah, blah. Never did. So we're going to be making a, a little tag flip. And we probably won't finish it today because I have a feeling my son's going to be back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in here. So what we're going to do is just pull out a few things. Good morning, Heather. I hope that you are doing well. I hope you got your camping all fun. Hope you had lots and lots of um, great stories to bring back and tell. Uh, as you know, I didn't do anything. <laughs> so I have some paper and, and I was sitting here and I was like, two things was going on in my mind. I said, I need to make a thumbnail. And then I was like, I need to make a... And to figure out the size. So I'm I'm thinking that the tags will be roughly eight and a half by two, two, two or three, because then we'll get more tags. I was like, how many tags are we gonna do? Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope he is um recovering well. You know, um, good morning, Nix. I hope you're doing well today. I uh, was talking, we'll get all of the negative stuff out the way, right? Like colds and, and bad things. And my um, husband is from, he grew up in South or North Carolina. And he told me, I'm whispering because my son is an eavesdropper. See, this is too big and this is four. So I think maybe we should do three because three would work. And, you know, I'm the queen of making scraps, so it will be okay, I think. Yeah, three is pretty good, I think. Um, let's see. Three. Yeah, three. And we may have to make this a little bit short. So maybe six by three would be a good, a good thing. So he told me, he said, hey, this happened where... You know, my friend is, I think they were driving and um, a man was shooting at them. So the man shot like three people as they were driving by, not provoked, anything like that. And so it was him, his son and another person. And the son did not make it. He told me that this morning. And I was just like, that's very sad. And, you know, I am one of those people that don't really like to go places because I don't trust people and so just hearing that kind of reaffirms my not liking to go places it's also kind of very it's scary when you think about it it's very scary to um hear that some random person was out there doing this very uh cruel thing and now the little boy is no longer here it's very sad you know it's a lot of bad stuff going on in the world and I know a lot of people believe that you know the end is coming and we need to get everything right if you believe in God it's just a bunch of crazy and I think that people have always been this crazy we just didn't hear about it because of uh, social media. Good morning, Samara. I hope you're doing well today. So, um, yeah, it's very sad. You know, this baby had his whole life ahead of him and, and 
some random person snatched it from him, which is sad. So, you know, it makes you want to hug your kids tighter, not let them go out and do things and stuff like that, because you never know. Um, and that's what I was telling my friend. I was like, I can, you know, with everything that happened in the last couple of weeks, schools, churches, and grocery stores are sim- supposed to be like some of the safer spots to be able to frequent and go, just like being at home should be safe. Um, you know, people think their home is the safest place to be aside from a school or a church. So, you know, I was contemplating like school, what should I do for school and all those things. And currently, you know, the, the goal is to just continuously pray and believe that um, we are, you know, covered and protected. Uh, but people are just crazy. And I do wish the husband a speedy recovery. Hopefully he's not too um, annoying. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in if you have a husband and he gets sick. Well, in my household, you're right, Samaras. No more, no more safety like that. Um, no place is really safe. Um, and I, I think back in the day, you know, I... I do believe this, and this is probably a, a, a weirdo um, thought, and I don't mind saying it's a weirdo thought, but I do believe that if we, if you believe in God and you pray and enough people pray, we could, uh, you know, change, because all you need is faith in things being better, but people are different, right? People are different. So I got this in a D-stash. I love this paper pad. Um, it's called the Mary Posa paper pad. As you can see, it's all broken apart because the person I bought it for. Um... Oh, well, that's good if he just has severe allergies and fevers. That's pretty good besides the fever. And what I was going to say is that my husband is a big crybaby when he's sick. So I'm like, Dude, you're annoying. I'm not sure how your husband is, if he's like a crybaby or a whiner, but mine is. And I'm like, oh, gosh, not you sick. Oh. Um, it's just annoying. I think, excuse the glare. I think we're going to use some more muted pages. Nothing too over the top. So we're going to take this one out. We're only going to do a few. Uh, not a lot of them. Yeah. Of this page you know men being sick with women being sick in my opinion not the same like if you're a female and you're sick you still get up and as best as possible you still get up and cook and clean take the kids drop them off men stump their toe and you know usually it's like a cold if they have like a slight cold it's a wrap you can cancel christmas because they are going to drive you absolutely insane. And again, it could just be in my house, but my husband's like, oh, oh. And another person that I dated in the past was like that, like a big crybaby, I guess you could say the word. That's good for it. And I was like, really? You just have a cold. And then like when we when we do yard work, sometimes I help him and most of the time I don't because I'm like, mm, that's your thing. He'll come in the house and he's like, oh, I'm so tired. The heat, the blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, really? <laughs> and I'm like, here we go. Here we go with the nonsense. So we're going to just cut this down. I think we're doing three. Yeah, three. We'll do this side. He probably said the same thing about me. All you ever say is your back and knee hurt, but my back and knee does hurt. So. Yeah, that's three. I don't know. So, I mean, you know, I, I, of course, if he needs something, I'm like, what do you need? If, and the thing is, like, um, you want something to drink? You're hungry? Blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, no, I'm good. I'm like, okay. I offered 
don't ask again. My son, he hasn't really got to that man trait of uh, annoying, but when he's sick, he can be quite um, either grumpy sick, which is the worst. I'd rather be whiny sick than grumpy sick. Because he's like, oh, can I please? Oh, 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 like whiny. I'm like, oh gosh, go to sleep. Is this medicine not working? But for the most part, when he's sick, um, he'll just lay down. You know, he'll just be real still. And that's how I know he's sick. Because usually he's like pinging off the walls. Which is good, you know, because you don't want a kid that's barely moving when they're sick. You want them to still be jumping off the walls and stuff. Um and he cries, you know, when he throws up or something. Because I'm like, oh, Lord, why are you throwing up? Don't throw up. <laughs> and I'm like, we have a bucket. I'm not sure if y'all remember Dollar Tree. Um, when they were a dollar, no, I'm joking. Um, when they had uh, those blue buckets a couple of years ago for a buck, of course, it was, or a dollar. But I, I had got a bunch of them. And I had got them for, like, cleaning and store and stuff so we have one in the bathroom and I just put a plastic bag in it um, when he's sick and we go from there alright so this is I think we're doing these at 7 I have to cut off an inch is it an inch? is it 1 inch or 2? oh no look it matches oh, of course it matches because this is the color paper Duh. let's see I think that's one inch. Let's see. I can't even remember. And it was just, we just did it. Yeah, one inch. You know, I always have to remember that the paper trim is a little bit different than um, the guillotine. Because with the paper trimmer, you know, I can just put what I want to stay on and keep it on. With the guillotine, I have to do it in my head opposite. So let's pull our old faithful over here. Just chilling in the wings like, yes, put me in the game, coach. <laughs> so I could just run this one up real quick. Let's see. You know, whenever Joanne Fabric have these Fisker things, I'll sell, I always buy it. So I never... If you, you notice, you never really hear me complain about not having um, those. I just get upset because some of the paper is thin, thinner, and it has a little bit more of a, the tooth of the paper. You know, they always say you can go against the, go with the grain of the paper. And I'm like, what do you mean go with the grain of the paper? Uh, explain that to me, please. We're going to cut all these down. We're not going to use all these today. All of these today. But we will be using them at some point. As I was... So, let's just talk about some stuff. First of all, customer service, right? Customer service is not where it used to be. So, I've been going through a lot of my stuff that I've been hoarding for people for forever and I'm like I need a box to put it in and mail it I usually just use flat mate flat rate boxes because it's a little bit easier to not have to worry about the weight of things and just put it in the flat rate like if it's something really thin then that may be a, a different type of situation but for the most part I um I think it's probably the safest route for me to do that. So we're going to do, I like this one. All right, so we got four. And I think I had told myself eight earlier before. I'm camera one, two, three, four. All right, this is good. Now, I have received a few of these flip books before, and I'll tell you, every time I receive these from people, they are always better than the ones I send them, regardless on what they think. 
um, they usually put um, like goodies in there. I'm like, it's just a tag flip. I don't understand how they. So you remember that thing I showed you, the book I showed you that Samara sent me, that beautiful book? She put a little stamp in there, right? Um, I've received a few of those with like dyes or something in there. And I'm like, how, you know, where is the mindset to actually do that? And I'm like, I don't have it. <laughs> I always just, I don't know, just like with pocket letters, I seem to always struggle with a pocket letter. Um. Well, you know, you will, hopefully one day, if you like. So the one thing that we don't have are our corner rounders and our center hole punch, because I was like, I have my um, envelope maker at the desk. I can just use the envelope maker and uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't even see my envelope maker. And we're just going to move on from that. That's okay. It will not end our day at all we'll i'll go around and around the corners later all right ma'am so we're gonna do i think we'll do two at a time maybe three and i do have some dollar tree and i also have some og prices from um this place i can't remember the name of it but uh, tuesday morning so I got a few of those. I got some stamps because, you know, uh, we like stamping items. I actually bought a stamping board, not the big platform. Like, as I realized that I make a lot of, oh, I forgot to bring these types of things to the desk. We're working on that. And I have some uh, flowers that we're going to do. So, and then we'll, I'll uh, probably show you on Friday, I think, how we bind it. We're just going to put a a clasp on there so we have these beautiful little images and i think we're going to use a stamp if it has a nice word so i think it's going to say let your dreams take flight this is from michael's recollection thinking of you let's do hello beautiful and we have our black ink i believe i have it somewhere so this is a uh acrylic stamp it's not a photopolymer so we should be good on that and i do so i think i've told y'all my favorite stamp company is stampendous my next favorite stamp company is uh inka dinka do and so we're using some Inka Dinka Do um, stamps. And I'm going to stamp it off just so we don't have any issues first. I haven't stamped since the last time we were together. So let's see. Oh, it inks up very nicely, stamps up very nicely. And I was thinking that we can do like something vintage because I have some Tim Holtz stuff that I was going through. And I was like, you need to start using that. Because, you know, last week, um, even though the internet zonked out on me, we talked about um, how sometimes we may hoard, hoard uh, things from big brands or we may think of certain companies as companies that we can't use their products because we may never get them. And I think that is one of the companies that's like that. You know, lately he's like, I'm not trying to tell you to buy it, but once it's gone, it's gone. And I, I think that if you were to tell me, I'm not trying to tell you to buy it, but once it's gone, it's gone. That is a clear indicator that you're telling me to buy it. But I don't know. Maybe I just uh, don't understand marketing. Because, you know, I, I wanted to, you know, I talk about this every time. A couple of years ago, they had those snarky cats. And it was a limited edition, limited to one store, limited to, was it Inktober or Stamp stamp Bimber? One of those things. And um, we're going to pull out, oh, no, what did I do with it? We're going to pull out this, uh, some distress thing real quick. 
and I'm just looking at the colors I want to use. I have this rusty hinge, but I'm not really sure about the. I think we'll go with aged mahogany. Let's see. Uh, no, not aged mahogany. That looks too purple. Let's do aged old paper. Let's do old paper. And um, you know, a lot of people bought yes, yeah, stamp timber. A lot of people bought it, and then it was no more. And I was like, well. I really, you know, in my head, I was like, I really wanted that because I have a little crazy kitty cat and I thought it was a really cute stamp set, right? And like, I don't craft on a budget. Like, I never say I'm only going to spend $20 because, you know, I'm a self saboteur and that would just not uh, go well for me. I would definitely ruin that. Like, say if I said, well, I'm not going to go craft shopping today. I'm going to do blah, 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 blah. I would definitely be up in the craft stores today, wasting all of the money today. And then tomorrow I'll be like, well, I didn't get everything I needed. I'm going to have to go and, you know, the craft budget. So I don't do that. But some people can't, you know, some people that want these craft supplies are actually good to themselves and put themselves on a real budget and they can't just go out and buy a bunch of junk but they were all sold out and of course you know the market how crafters are are people that are in the craft community it's not really in the craft community but they're in the craft community this didn't stamp out the great i don't know if it's because the ink or what but that's okay um, we just won't wet, we're not going to wet any of it and we're going to round the corners anyway. Well, I will round the corners anyway and go from there. I really wanted to get this particular stamp set because I was like, I want to try and do some, um, words, they elude me, uh, you know, with how this looks, image documenting crafts with some like vintage tags or whatever. So we got Hello Beautiful, got our stamp sets. I'm trying to be neater because I realized that I have, I make a bigger mess than I ever thought I would ever make when I craft. So we don't want that. I don't want that in my life. <laughs> Every time I finish craft, I'm like, oh, let's go clean up this mess. And then, you know, if you go look in the mirror, the person's reflection that you see is the person that's cleaning up that mess. So. Here we are. I don't want to keep, I want to try my best not to have a bunch of just extra junk. So we got Hello Beautiful. And now I was going to pull out some of the girls and stamp them out. But I was like, no, we don't need, we don't need them to carry this project. We can do it in the girls. I meant some of the uh, um, lady stamps that I have. So I'm just digging in this bag of, uh, Tim Holtz ephemera. So I did decide to kind of mix up the ephemera though. Not, no, I just have to put all his ephemera together. Yeah, thank you. Um, so this, we're going to pull out a few of those. And we want it to kind of be not too busy, but busy enough to be like, oh, okay, some thought and effort actually went into this. It's just not. Let me throw a bunch of stuff down and see how it looks and works. Okay. And we don't, we will not need that much. I'm sure of it. You know, I'm, I just want to go on the record and say, I'm not fond of uh, the faces that's in these craft collections. And so I'll use them up really quickly because, you know, they're, they're, I'm not keeping them. That's how I always look at it. I'm like, I'm not going to keep this. This is going to be for someone else <laughs> who may like craft faces, you know, heads and stuff like that. So <laughs> I always try to get, get that done and not the way. So I um, we're still doing butterfly stuff. We're just putting a pause on our junk journal just because I, I was feeling a bit like I didn't want to do the junk journal right away because I wasn't doing it any justice just just the way I had planned on doing it so I've decided that you know we'll probably revisit that um on Friday maybe so I think this is enough 
right here. And I want to say, I think last week, Hobby Lobby had Tim Holtz on sale, not clearance for sale. I did go to Hobby Lobby and I did partake in some of the things that they had for sale. Uh, not all, not all of them. I was looking for, which I did not see, so I'm not sure if it's actually gone or not. But if you've ever seen a haberdashery paper pad that they have, Hobby Lobby, it is one of the most prettiest paper pads I've ever seen when it comes to like vintage crafts, vintage, vintagey stuff. I really, really like it. Um, they didn't have it. I wasn't going to buy it because they didn't even have their paper studio brand on sale either. But I was like, is this on clearance? And I haven't been watching a lot of haul videos because... You know, I'm trying not to spend all of the, the cash flow at Hobby Lobby. I'm really attempting to make a real effort at not just spending up my um, money. It's going okay, I think. <laughs> I can't be too sure of that, though, because I see stuff. And I'm like, oh, I would like to have that. And then I talk myself out of it. I've been doing a lot of that like you don't need it. What you going to do it with it? Why are you getting it? What's it for? And so we're going to unfortunately cut some of these uh, butterflies in half or fold them over. Which, you know, it's not a big deal in the grand scheme of the butterfly situation. Because I have a die that I could just cut it, you know, make another butterfly. Not as pretty as this, but it will still be pretty. All right, so we got Hello Beautiful. We got this. Let's see, what you buy? First of all, am I part of this reason that you bought some stuff? If I am, then um, what you buy? I want to know. I want to know, no, 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 no. I love when people tell me that they buy stuff. Um, not going to get their spending spending freeze, but just when they buy things I always just like oh I would love to have bought that and this and this oh I'm safe is it a a wonder dream of 555 is it her fault I could totally see it being her fault because she did a haul the other day and I haven't finished watching the video I was like I gotta stay away from these haul videos <laughs> all right so we're gonna do this I think we're gonna pull out this butterfly though um because, you know, we're not doing a bunch of anything. Oh, okay. Well, that's not bad. I'm sure that'll make her happy, Deb. You see how this little thing is? This is what I'm talking about when I was talking about the stamps that I bought. Um, And these little mushrooms. I want to do a few gnomey, mushroomy type of crafts. But I'm not sure just yet on what ones I want to do. I may have to take this spread joy off because I need something in the center right here. We'll leave it. That's cool, though. I love when people tell, even if it's like clothes shopping, like, oh, I went shopping. What you buy? I want to know. I like it. I've been telling myself I was going to buy myself some shoes for the last two months now. I may actually do it today because my shoes are not um, being very nice to me at the moment. My feet have been hurting a lot more than they should, I think. So we are going to double this butterfly up. And even though um, this image doesn't have a thing on the back of it, I'm okay. I'm okay with that, if that makes any sense to you. So 
so I still like it. I think Friday we're going to do some stamping, regular stamping, because we're going to do some double layer stamping. That's what I wanted to do last week, but I didn't mentally prepare for it. And now we're just going to um, you know, I always find it interesting when stamp companies sell, but sell butterflies. Like these butterflies look exactly the same. No matter how you look at it, they always look the same. So we got use our other stamp block. I remember when I had I had like a thousand of these because I had bought them in some D stashes. You know, people were getting rid of their stamp blocks, and I was like. I'm going to need a few stamp blocks because I love stamps, blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden, I was like, I don't need stamp blocks. I have a stamping platform, blah, 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 blah. And now I'm like, ma'am, really? Pull that stamp block out. You need that thing. Because sometimes you don't need a big stamping platform for these little bitty stamps. You need a small stamping, you know, a small acrylic block. And I probably could have used this one. Could have used that one. I find that I have been extra attracted to butterflies and bees lately. I don't even know if that's good or not. I don't even know. I mean, it's good for the companies that's selling this stuff, but do I need the same butterfly? Oh, that stamp out so nice, though. Oof. You know, I'm partial to stamping images. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to do a second generation stamp right here. All right. So we did our first one. There we go. And now the back. The back, we're going to keep it a little bit same simple. And, um... I feel like I need uh, to make it like more brown, some decoupage or something, but we're not doing that today. Let's see. That flower, that row of flowers we pulled out. And this would be nice if I had, you know, if I was a, a real crafter, I could have got some of my napkins and prepared them, but... You know, when I was doing, when I was gathering the materials, I was like, how, and y'all could tell me, like, how much of the process do you want to see? Like, do you want to see um, how we're doing it now? Or do you want to see a different process? Like, the end, like, I have everything together and I'm just putting it together. Because I feel like when we're making things together live, it's kind of like we, you know, we've said, hey, we're going to hang out today and, you know, we're going to be doing this. So we're sitting there talking. And even if our projects are not complete, they are still, it's just still us hanging out. But let me know if you want to try a different situation and I will um, take that into consideration. I'll think about it. Does it, I hope that makes sense what I'm saying. I don't have my brush, my uh, distress brush, because I really want to ink up these edges. So what we'll do, which I do not recommend doing this, but we're going to do it anyway. Yeah, I don't like doing this. So I'm going to have to go get a brush real quick. I have a, I'm just going to get a regular makeup brush that I have. I just don't have one at the desk right now which is weird. So while I go AFK away from the keyboard, think about that and let me know, would you prefer this kind of process or do you want it a different way? And if you want to do it a different way, I'm okay with that too. Like, yeah, I'll be right back.
All right, so I got two little brushes. I uh, picked those up from the Dollar Tree when it was the Dollar Tree. They were a dollar a piece. They do sell these on Amazon and all those other spots for um, I think you can get six, ten or something like that. Different prices. Green is not really the ideal color <laughs> but we're going to make it work it doesn't have to be super neat because I do plan on putting a little butterfly or something some sort of thing over that side so this morning my uh, yeah I'm not I've only blended two or three times with this and I'm like, oh, I need to just practice. I've seen people, I think what I'm about to say is why I don't blend as much. I've seen a post from this lady and she said, this took me hours, hours, not, oh, it took me an hour to do. She was like, yeah, this, I finally got the perfect blend. It took me hours. I can't remember the number that she said if she said a number, but it took her hours to do. And I was like, that's a bit much for me to do. So I never, ever attempted it. <laughs> and I blended just quick blending. And, you know, sometimes if you blend incorrectly, you have those harsher lines. So, of course, I have harsher, I had harsher lines than I wanted. So what we're going to do is glue this down real quick. Yeah, I was, I just, I, you know, people, right? People tend to be excessive over things um, sometimes. So much so that it's unbelievable. But it was a beautiful picture that she had blended. And it had no... Nothing else. It was just the blend. And so I was like, okay, well, I think that sometimes people, especially on Facebook, and I'm not sure if any of you are like this, but I find that people will post things like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not any good at this, but this is my attempt. Let me know what you think. And the picture is like a masterpiece. I'm like, this is beautiful. I remember one time someone posted, I was like, you know, I don't really like this because it's so this. And it was blue and green. It was like a crocheted item. I said, um, do you need my address? Because <laughs> I love it. It was beautiful. Whatever it was, it was very, very pretty. It was like a blanket, a hat or something. I don't remember. But I think sometimes people post those kinds of silly things on um social media for attention now the one thing that we need to talk about is my overlaying of this object you see how i have this on the back and then this is on the front if you don't like that be mindful of that because when you're flipping your um flip over it's going to look like that so you have to be aware of where your placement is for me i feel like it's going to be a little bit extra anyway we're gonna all of them will have things hanging out from the side and we'll probably even make like a little tag a tassel dangle um on friday but the goal is to try to use up some of our craft supplies versus going to the store and buy more and then said oh i have that pack of whatever it is so that is the goal the goal is to create and be happy with the things that we create I think if I could, this is not going to work. Let me tell you why it's not going to work. Because I want to round those edges later with my corner rounder. And that thing being that poofy might not work. So we're going to have to put a sentiment or something across here. I'm going to have some motivating sentiments. So let's see. Yeah, so I, you know, I don't know. I don't know why people do that, but it's always kind of like weird. And I am a comment junkie. 
like I'll go to the comments and I'll read what people have written. Sometimes I'll read the comments before I even watch the video because I'm like, okay, you know, what are we saying? And then sometimes if the comments are too disturbing, I won't, you know, I'll, I'll watch the video a little bit and then I'll just go because I don't need that in my life. I don't need that kind of, you know, negativity in my life. I was watching, and I don't even know how I got it today, just now before I um, was sitting here doing something. And you know how sometimes you get suggested videos or whatever. Ten, I tend to click on those suggested videos because I'm like, how does YouTube or the algorithm know me so well? Like I've been down the cat uh, <laughs> video lane so many times so many times that i'm like ah okay and why you know why is that okay so we got one tag it looks just like a plain bookmark kind of it's a fancy bookmark we're talking about plain all right so that's one then our next thing is this right here and we're gonna make this one a little bit less uh i don't know less vol voluminous we're just gonna put down a few things on here and go i got these from these playing cards from five and below again i thought this would have been a really cool thing to purchase so this is how it looks on one side and each each card which is great because you know if you buy some cards they don't have that they have flowers on each one which is really cool. And so even though it's an ace, they don't have two roses, which I, I mean, a king, excuse me. They don't have the same thing. This one says Magnolia, this says Wild Lupin. Whenever I see Lupin, I always think of Harry Potter. Um, yeah. So for tag flips, it's just another form of art. I don't really think tag flips actually do anything besides make you smile when you're flipping through. And you're like, oh, look at this, it's so cute. But if you want to, um, yeah, they want a buck, a dollar, and a uh, five and below. I'm not sure if you have a five and below near you or not. But I do want to tell y'all something. We will be doing cards soon. I'm trying to look for a jumbo deck of cards, and I don't want to spend like a whole bunch of money on them. So I probably have to buy, uh, go to the Dollar Tree and see if they have them. And I was thinking, even if the front is plain, the back could be pretty because we're going to do stuff on the front. Yeah, I will. I plan on running an errand today. So if they have more, I, I'm i putting together mail packages so I could put that in a package for you. I have so much to do. That's what I was going to say. So I went, I know yesterday the post office was closed. When I lived in Virginia, even though the post office was closed, they still had the entry areas where you can go into, check your PO boxes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I went to the post office yesterday and they had one large flat rate box available for purchase. I mean, to pick up and take out. That's fine. I took it because it was only one, but I need like a lot. When I say a lot, I need a few. I did order some, but I need some now. I don't need them when the post office decides to uh, come back open. Uh, you didn't miss much. It's just this one thing. This is the front page, the wings. It says spread joy, hello, beautiful. And then on the back, it says love, joy, peace, crown diamonds in this flower. And then I went AFK because I need to get a brush because I don't have my blending brush. So I got a makeup brush that I purchased from the Dollar Tree back when it was just a dollar store. And now we're caught up. Oh, these cards. Nope. One more thing. I got these cards. It's not enabling Friday, but I got these cards with all these pretty pictures on them from the Dollar Tree. I mean, five and below, five and below. So with this card being so shiny, what you could do is take a small piece of sandpaper and scrub this off if you wanted to, to make sure that it adhered down pretty good. But I think the glue that we're going to be using will stick it down pretty decently. And we don't have to worry about that. So we're just making a tag flip. Oh, and then I talked about these faces. You know, I don't really care for these faces 
on um, any of my things that I want to keep. So. But welcome back, ma'am. I haven't been to the Dollar Tree in a minute. <laughs> but I want to go there and look around. I don't want to buy anything. I had went there looking for something in particular, I want to say a week and a half ago. So I want to go there and uh, browse the Dollar, the Dollar Tree streets, but I don't know. So we can use this rose now and we can put it right here. So today's goal, I shouldn't have did that. I should have kept it flat because, yeah. Um, today's goal is just to relax, hang out, and enjoy each other. Yay. You know, I always wonder if all these things, besides the ones that are obviously not butterflies, are, mo are, moth are they moths or butterflies? You know what I'm saying? Like, which ones? I want to see if we have this one in this collection. Hopefully we do. Yes, look at how pretty this is. So needless to say, I need to go to the post office and get some more boxes because... I need boxes. And this is a sticker. I don't know why they had these things in the middle like that, but we're gonna do this. And we need another synth, another word. Oop. And what are these? We're gonna use some Tim Holtz. Oh, and I said that we need to use more of our stuff that we buy from places, people. So we're going to scrape the card. And we're going to just use this. I think create art would be good. I love Dwell in Possibility as well. But I think we're going to do Create Art real quick. So, how would I take your thoughts into consideration for Um, live streaming the lot these do you want to do you want to see all this that we're doing right now or like how is this not an, is this too much or no so we're just going to scrape this on and what should happen it's like a tattoo for paper right you rub it rub it rub it and then the paper, the ink from there lifts up. Yeah, I need them for postal usage now, and they don't have any. I ordered some in the mail to just show up and come. So, oh, it said that's enough. So I rub that in, and it says create art, and we're a little bit on a crooked side, but you know what? That's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I just want to know because, you know, maybe I'm, I'm not entertaining enough, darling. Which, I mean, I'm okay if I'm boring. <laughs> not everybody can be exciting and, and, you know, all that good stuff. That doesn't bug me, though. I'm going to turn this little butterfly around. Do that. Ink it up one more time. Good morning, very crafty. How are you doing today? Hopefully, well. 
We're over here trying to attempt to create some art. <laughs> Hi, Chris. How are you today? All right. You know, I'm not a big fan of uh, rub on. <laughs> not a big fan of rubbing on. Not on camera, at least, because the camera shakes. I'm like, oh, great. So I have to unsticky these. I don't have my little antistatic thing over here right now, but we'll unsticky that. So this is the front. Yay. And this is the box. Definitely need to be mindful of that if you're going to be using uh, stickers, right? Next page. Let's move on. Okay. Well, hopefully the for now is forever. Yeah, I, I don't know. I like them, but I don't like them. I had bought some from Joy and Fabric and could not get those things to work. No matter how hard I rubbed, pressed down, tried, none of that mess made it um, actually work. So it's like, okay, I see what's going on. And, you know, you always expect for the Dollar Tree stuff to kind of fall flat, but it was, it didn't, it did not fall flat. It was definitely the joy and fabric stuff. Good morning, Chocolate City Sims. How are you doing today? Hopefully well. So this lady is a picture of health and beauty. Wow. And I am doing my most, one of my least favorite crafty things, but it's come along pretty nicely. <laughs> Forehead. I I think it's a flower. Uh, or a spider? <laughs> Maybe it's Miss Tuffet. Muppet, Miss Muffet. Maybe it's her bangs or a, uh, I don't know. She's the picture of health and beauty, see? A picture of health and beauty. <laughs> We're going to just give her some Red Bull so she can get some wings, okay? Because I don't know what the heck that really is. Maybe I should have went with the four inch. Um, 
paper instead of the three. I think the bigger wings look better though. I definitely don't know what's in her hair. <laughs> you know, sometimes when people um put their uh things out, you know, this lady came straight out of a old school magazine somewhere that um he and his team probably found. And um Maybe the image just didn't transfer over properly. Hmm. But she is a picture of health and beauty. I know that. <laughs> and she going we gonna keep her. Cause she's definitely not staying in my house. No longer than she have to. I remember when Tim Holtz came out with those people, the black and white um, images uh, for Halloween. And I was like, I, I don't need any of these. I had bought them because I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to buy them and see how they look, et cetera, et cetera. And we really, really got rid of them really fast. Like they were gone like the next couple of days because I don't like them. And um, somebody was like, what I do, <laughs> this sounds so horrible. They take the image and they poke a hole in the image and they put red underneath it. And I was like, you are freaking creepy, right? And I was just like, I don't know about that one either. But I put them in the mail and sent them on their way to a new home. Like once you get it, you could creep them out even more. But mm -mm. I was just like, that's just too much for me. How's both of these tour? Yeah, and I don't even like these. I do have some vintage looking lady stamps, but I feel like those are I'm a little bit safer <laughs> with those. I don't know. I just don't care for those types of images. Um somebody was like, That's you know, you know, they um it was like, Well, I can understand why. I just don't think they look very um I just don't like them. We'll leave it at that. Not my thing. But if other people are into it, I'm glad for them. Like I saw another one. I guess he has like three sets now, two or three sets. And during the holidays, Halloween, usually Halloween and Christmas. I think he had a Christmas one. And I was like, I am not putting these people I don't know on any of my Christmas things and being like, look, this is Tim's family. Uh-uh. That's a no for me. You cannot advance to the next stage. I'm sorry. So she's, I, I want y'all to remember that she is a picture of health and beauty, okay? I want you to remember that. Okay, she is a picture of health and beauty. Wow. Now, let's go ahead and do something. We're going to use we're going to use a few of these stickers up because we need to. I pulled out my little flowers. I do have some other ladies too. You know, we're all about using up 
all of our supplies. Because I was thinking I was sorting something. I was like, when I use all this up, I don't have to worry about buying more storage. And then the rational person was like, if you wouldn't have bought all this stuff, you wouldn't need storage in the first place. I was like, go back to sleep. Who needs you with these comments of yours? Not needed. But you know, sometimes reality will creep into your psyche and tell you what's what. That sentiment won't fit. Let's see. So I, uh, I'm not sure if you all subscribe to, yeah, the struggles, right? <laughs> I'm not sure if you, you know, the, the people that craft subscribe to PG Cheat the emails, but I saw an email today from them. Didn't make me want to buy anything, but it was just very interesting because they said um, with some heart, st- heart dies, and I was like, what does that mean, Peachy Cheap? I'm not understanding. Somebody needs to... I need a... Uh, what are those things called that you get to put stuff straight down? Not a ruler. See, it's still crooked. It's a um, those little things that you can slide over and adjust. I need one of those. I don't really need one, but because I feel like I would still make it crooked. Because it's, I mean, it's craft a straight, right? Craft a straight. So let's see, we got this going on right here. We're gonna just put this pink butterfly right here. Now we're going to use a smaller one. We'll use his cousin. Let's find his cousin. Then we'll do that one. Then we'll move on. So anyone ever made a tag flip? If so, what have you used it for? Besides to give to somebody, right? Okay. Let's, let's think this through. <laughs> And you see, I am not even being mindful of these edges. I should have clipped them first. I know. Yeah. All right. Let's just uh, fix this real quick. Let's card it. So the post office is my next stop after this. And I think like this is a stop. This is the starting point. Let's get that straight, madam. So after I start here, I'm going to go to the post office. And then, so my phone is like on its very last leg. No, ma'am, not a full day. I um, I don't have no plans besides going to the post office. And then uh, I might go to the Dollar Tree or I might not. But most likely I probably won't go to the Dollar Tree. We'll see. I just need to go to the post office and get some boxes. And then I need to mail off Fairy's uh, book. I went to the post office yesterday, which was closed, of course, to get some boxes, flat rate boxes, plus some other things I need to mail out. And I'm not sure if y'all have like a post office inside of any of your other stores, but it's a, a shell station that has post office inside of it. And those people are not the nicest people to uh, they just have poor customer service very bad customer service and um, so I need to I need to get just those and I think I'm going to buy some groceries to cook but I'm not quite sure but no I don't have a full schedule I don't have a schedule besides 
the only thing is the post office. So I want to put this here. Just like this. So I don't like to cover up the whole uh, thing with stuff. I like for it to be kind of clustered. I think it looks better clustered versus like if I put something here and then I put something here. Now, if we had like a background already, I feel like that would be good, but I don't have a background. I decided not to get a lot of busy papers. I decided to just choose certain papers and layer on top of those versus the opposite way. So if you have a dictionary, you can probably find a lot of little silly pictures like this and cut them out. If you're into thrifting, maybe you can find those there. So we're gonna use some regular glue. Do you have a full day, ma'am? You have um, lots of time slots? Or, or am I going to be penciled into a time slot today? Do I get a time slot? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to rub this down. I'll move on to our next one. So if you're wondering, this is going to be a tag flip, right? She being I, I just cut the paper. I didn't round the edges and the poke in the hole in the center. Sometimes I like to cheat and just get the tags already prefabricate them inside of my scanning cut. And if you have a paper cutter, you can do the exact same thing, electronic or die or whatever. But this is the front of it. So it's going to have this in the top. And I'm not even sure about rounding edges now, but this is going to be the top hole. And so what's going to happen is you're going to flip this over. You have it on the back. Some people don't do things on their backs. It's just what you decide is how it's going to work. So that's the front, back, and this is page two. And see, this is very plain. And that's the back. And we just put create art. I love this image. I wish I would have copied that one, but I didn't. And then, you know, a picture of health and beauty right here. And we want her to, we want to remember that she's a picture of health and beauty. And so, now I didn't tear this. It came tore, but it looks like I tore it from being heavy handy, but I did. And then this is the back of that one. So we have a few more to go. We probably won't even finish all of them today. And maybe I could uh, go and fix my error and clip this. And this paper, the pattern paper that we're using currently is from the Mariposa paper pad. I'm sure a lot of you remember that paper pad is so pretty um i want to say hobby lobby i mean joanne fabric sales die cuts would have you now um but the paper pad that i got that i'm using is the one i got from a d stash uh and of course i can't find it even though i yeah you know, it's right here underneath this stack of stuff The Mary Posa stack, and this is the small one. I have the 12 by 12, and die cuts with a view is probably one of my most favorite paper brands. See this right here? Look at that. That's the goal. Something like this. This is pretty. This would be a nice little background that we could try and make because I've been messing with my pulling the stencils out and looking at them. I haven't made anything, and then I don't know what's up with this, it's falling apart. But I guess that's good. The, I don't know if it's good that it's falling apart or not. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I love that paper somewhere. You know, Dockers with a view. Even though they have thinner paper too. See all the nostalgias coming. Oh. That's when Barry Crafty was a baby crafter. And now look, she's a, a master at creating amazing projects love it i don't know what my first i think my first paper pad was a you probably know a, a nautical themed paper <laughs> it's definitely nautical themed i think it was the uh, it was something from michael's have i ever opened and cut into it no am i ever going to open and cut into it probably not Oh, thank you. Yeah, I um, 
I think butterflies and flowers make make you feel happier and we need that I I need that right now so um I'm using it and plus you don't want to go on stream and be like oh guess what happened today Rover got ran over by the milkman the milkman jumped off the truck and the car exploded I, I mean I mean if that's what you like of course but I just you know even though going through some things you can still try to be a light for others in my opinion and you know if you don't feel like showing up then don't show up not people to the stream but the person is going live because sometimes it's just easier to be like i'm not feeling it today but i like i like flowers because i can't grow them so i'm just gonna bend this in the centerpiece because we gotta make our butterflies be in flight most of the time And I think we're going to put a little sentiment at the bottom. I hope we can put a little sentiment at the bottom. You know, I did a collaboration back in the day about puns, right? And I was just thinking if you had a U and a rock, you could put you rock. <laughs> Don't judge me. Don't judge me. <laughs> You get it? You and a rock? Come on, y'all. Come on. Anybody get it? Anybody? No? No? Bueller? No takers on that one, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I like puns. You know, remember I did that collaboration? It was fun. I love punny stuff. You know, none offensive stuff, but <laughs> never mind. I can't with y'all. We're gonna put this little thing right here, and I think we're gonna put like one flower. Now I don't, I didn't cut out any flowers for this project in particular because she wasn't thinking, basically. But I felt like we had enough ephemera to create the things we needed to create. We need to go and do extra, but I do have some flowers in the colors that I like. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now with my brain. But yeah, I think that's funny. All right, so let's turn this over. And we're just gonna try to stay, keep this stuff flat, a little bit flatter because yeah. And look, watch, I found the thickest piece to um, put on there. that butter, that um, flower on there. You know, uh, they had these on clearance last year for five bucks. These normally cost $20, right? And um, if you can get your hand on the ones with the, the sayings in them, not the stuff that really looks like planners, but like where it says spread love and things like that, I think that that is a good deal because you think about it. This has how many stickers? A thousand one hundred and sixty one stickers, right? If you go to the Dollar Tree, right? The Dollar Tree. This is from the Dollar Tree and it's probably about 20 stickers. Just think. You only if you buy four of those, you already spent five dollars. So if you can see these, if you go to the store, you can see these on clearance. I recommend it. You know, it's it's not Friday, Heather. I know, but I'm just saying. I'm gonna put. Now, I'll probably put this too high up because that hole, let us see. Because you don't want to put the hole right there where it can pop off the thing. So you want it to go lower. But we'll see. And I think I want to use that little bird. And we're going to put this bird to stand on top of these words like that. 
and now we're going to just do a little bit of faux it's real stamping but um faux background right The day um, we was watching TV, my son and I, and I'm not sure how familiar any of you are with Dr. Seuss <laughs> and the books, right? But they have a book called Go Dog Go. And about six months ago, maybe a year, I wanted my son to watch it because I thought it was really cute, you know. Um, so far, I've only seen two Dr. Seuss cartoons one is the Cat in the Hat, and now it's the Go Dog Go. Besides the the animated Dr. Seuss things back in the day when I was younger. This is really cool. Um, and it's so, the show is very positive and upbeat. And I love shows like that. When I was growing up, I used to watch Hey, well, I was probably adult, a young adult. I used to watch Hey Arnold because Arnold didn't have an easy life, but he didn't have, he was very positive and upbeat in kind you know he always tried to find a positive solution and things like that and that's why I, oh great of course of course that's why i like go dog go so much because they do the same thing you know um give me one second i gotta concentrate hold your breath hold your breath hold your breath so we got this one yay These daggone things don't want to go. Let's see. Yep, I know why. You ain't got to tell me. You put that butterfly in it. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. There we go. So, go, dog, go. Uh, are you serious? <laughs> I liked Hey Arnold because he always had, he was just, I like uh, feel good cartoons <laughs> where, you know, you don't have to be mean and stuff to everybody. I mean, they had some antagonists in there. Helga was one. Harold was another one. Uh, Sid, the kid that wouldn't leave it. Not Sid. Stoop Kid, he was one. So they had a few people on the show that were a little bit mean or could be considered bullies. Is it just you? Is the internet working? Let's see. I think it's okay, Heather. Can you hear me now? Okay. Maybe it's... Well, I was pausing to try to put this... Never mind. Hopefully that's what it was, because uh, you know last week we had the same issue. The internet was like, uh, uh, I'm not showing up for work today, and it really didn't. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. The internet, oh, knock on wood, it's working for me because usually I have issues with it, so. You know, with everybody saying all these 5G things, it surely ain't showing up that they, I mean, is it not working? Is the 5G supposed to be extra spy or what? Because it's not, it's not doing it for me. Whatever it's supposed to be extra at, it is not being extra. No, Heather, but you're back now. Welcome back, ma'am. All right, so I think we just need something right here. Maybe a strip of words, a ribbon. Let's see. We do have these other butterflies that we cut up. That looks weird. That looks weird to me. It looks weird. Let's see. 
I could, you know, I don't put no flowers in the middle of that thing. What I was going to say is uh, also, you know, they have, they usually have this lady, Maggie Holmes, Jane, Jen Hatfield. If you can find the ones with, I like the Jen Hatfield ones a little bit better. Only because I like the colors that she used. They're more neutral, earthy toned colors. And I tend to like those colors a lot better for my own personal um, craft style. Yeah, I'm not understanding where everybody said, oh, they're going to be microchipping and blah, 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 blah. Uh, the internet can't even work properly. My phone be binging out. And I don't have 5G on my phone. So I'm kind of confused on... Uh, how is it supposed to be more if it's less? So we're going to do a little bit of a cluster right here. So thank goodness. More sunshine, please. And then we're going to put something going right there. Let's do wonderful because this, we need some joy. Yeah, I really like those. So whenever I see, if I had to choose between her and another creator that had, you know, the same thing, it would be the price and then her things. I just like her stuff a little bit better, but I'm not, you know, I'm not biased on anyone. Uh, you know, we, I expressed my whole thing about the Maggie Holmes. I think her, most of her stuff is exactly the same. And that, that's her thing. You know, I do own some of her stuff. So it's not like, oh, you, you don't like her. No, she's fine. I'm okay. But if I had to pick, I would want to pick one with a little bit more variety versus same same stuff. So I'm looking for something just a little strip to go down right here because I feel like we need just a little strip. And so I'm looking through my planner stickers because I am a big time sticker believer in. And so if it's a decent deal, I'll buy the planner stickers. All right, we're going to just use this cute little um, arrow. Hi, Deb. Hopefully you're well today. Just making um, some tag pages. We're going to move on to our next one. We're going to cut the pages. And I, oh, we have four left. We're moving on, going pretty decently. That's a big surprise to me. I'm surprised we're moving that fast. And let's see. I'm just trying to use up some of the, the stickers that I have. You probably don't know about that, like having a whole bunch of stickers. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes... It's not as bad as we think it is. I think I want to turn it this way. Ah, yeah. No. Yeah, I know. That's why I said it. <laughs> uh, so, Deb, you might want to um, put on your uh, battle gear because Heather said that you may be the culprit of her spending trees not actually working properly today. I'm just saying, that's what I heard. That was the rumor going around. I'm not trying to start no mess and nothing like that, but that's what I heard. <laughs> that's what she had told me. I mean, it came straight from her, so. She said I was good this time. So, yeah. I'm absolved from the um, finger pointing. <laughs> For now, at least. So, we're going to just mix... Mix up some colors. We're going to put love this because we want to use up some stickers. We'll put love this right here. And then I 
Oh, Deb started it. See, mm-hmm. or did I start it? Wait. Oh, she probably. Yeah, she probably showcased something really pretty. You're like, dang it, I don't want to not miss out on this wonderful opportunity to get these amazing things. Yeah, Deb is a, a problem starter like that. I do agree. We were doing a collaboration and she sent me stickers and I'm appreciative of those stickers because I love them. But, um, you know, just trying to read something real quick. Here I go again with this silly rub on, even though I said I didn't want to do the rub ons. I want to put enjoy the journey, though, because why not enjoy the journey? This is Tim Holtz. Oh, I love stickers. I do. I and um, I've used a few of the ones that you gave me because you know I also love nautical stickers. You know the one thing I'm not sure if you all are into like a certain thing. Um, like you know I like nautical stuff, but I don't really care for mermaids that much even though you probably see me craft with mermaids you're probably like what yeah I just I don't know because I think that for me I don't believe in mermaids um all the other creatures just about besides um well I think all the other creatures are real yeah so um I just find it, uh, I don't know, I don't even know if that's the real reason. Like, I'll still craft with them. I'll buy a stamp set of 5,000 of them because they're real cute and it goes with the whole theme. But I don't know. Like, I like Tim Holtz, but I don't buy everything that he creates, if that makes any sense. So enjoy the journey. I think that sometimes we don't do that, you know, stop and smell the roses and just, I read this post the other day and it was like, maybe it was like two weeks ago. And I try not to get on Facebook. I don't like social media currently because people are evil, um, in my opinion. When, you know, when they post nasty things and sayings, but then they want you to show them grace and mercy, but they're not showing others grace and mercy. But that's my my own issue. You don't have to carry that. Um, you don't have to, you know, stand on that hill with me. I will d- gladly do that hill all alone. Um, so we're going to put this right like that. Yeah. They had, someone had put, Oh, I know. I need to see that one. I haven't looked at the any of the books. I haven't looked at any Stampin' Up! stuff since December, I think. January, December. I um, I have told myself that you have too much. You need to cut down. And myself is like, it's like laughing in the face of danger, right? <laughs> pure magic. Let's hope that this is pure magic and this thing sticks down. Because I don't feel like, uh, yay, we got it. And then we're just going to pull this off. Oh, see, yeah, no. Uh uh-uh. uh. Um, I. You know what? I just, I just, uh, I think some, at some point, reality slapped me one too many times in the face with my amount of crafty belongings. And I'm just like, you're right. You have to hit me that hard. I understand. I will get my act together. And so that's what we're working on, getting our act together. I like this a lot. I love this. This is so cool. Um, 
the end of an era. But you know what I want to say? So I want to go on the record and say this, Deb. I can't wait to see what you make once you don't have as many restrictions, right? Because I was talking to Barry Crafty a couple of months ago, a long time ago. And she said, and, I, you know, I didn't, I don't think I've followed your channel as long as Barry Crafty has known you or followed you. I showed her that one of the things that you had seen. I was like, isn't it so pretty? I didn't know Deb made these things. And she was like, yeah, she makes those. She, you know, she was like, she makes those a lot. And I was like, really? And so I was like, I don't remember. She's like, yeah, you remember? And she was trying to tell me that you had made something in the past. I was like, uh, I never saw it or whatever. Because I knew you, I know that you make amazing jewelry, but I didn't know that you made like flip books and things like that. And she was like, oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And I've heard you say things about pocket letters and stuff like that, but I've never really seen you make a bunch of those um, things in the past. So, um. Uh, I do look forward to seeing what, you know, what the future holds when you start making things that are not uh, so restrictive, I guess is a good word for it. But if you decide to stay with the company, I like watching those videos, too. I love I love all of it. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, see, I remember when you were doing the Facebook uh, altered projects and then it, you kind of stopped doing that. Manaja Bukini Mama. Excuse me one second. Excuse my uh, French earlier. I do apologize for my behavior. Uh, for those that speak Italian, you may have caught a few of those words. <laughs> my acrylic block fell down. So right to this side over there is my computer and everything. I can't really get to the block right now. I'm just hoping that I didn't break it or chip it because that would be very, very upsetting to me but we're just going to move on we're going to try to you know go into our restrictive our respective corners and and smile and play nice i just can't believe i dropped it like that mm -mm -mm. now i need the dang thing we're going to put this one right here Wait a minute. Oh, I was to say, did I drop the stamps too? Just losing my mind over here today. Losing it all. Almost, yes. Excuse me one second. 